So in this episode of Apparel Academy, I will break down for you the key differences between a two-step heat transfer printing method and sublimation printing, and what are some key considerations to keep in mind so that you can make the right choice for your business. Although I know there are a lot more apparel decoration methods that involve printing out there, I wanted to specifically cover these two types of printing methods because both of these methods can be done on the Ricoma R550 white toner transfer printer. Okay, so before we jump right in, if you're here for the first time or you're new to this channel, make sure to smash that subscribe button to keep up to date with the latest videos that come out. We post every single week. Also, make sure to give a quick thumbs up to this video if you like content just like this. So as I said before, I'm going to break down the key differences and considerations for these two types of printing methods. But before we get into that, I want to first give a quick intro on what heat transfer printing actually is. Now, when we talk about heat transfer printing, we're talking specifically about a two-step method. So what do those two steps actually involve? So step number one in this two-step heat transfer printing method is actually printing a design onto a transparent sheet of transfer paper. Then in step two, you actually transfer that design that was printed on that transfer paper onto an adhesive paper using a heat press. Finally, you peel away the adhesive sheet from the transfer sheet and then you press the design onto the substrate such as a piece of garment using a heat press. After pressing the garment, you then peel away the actual paper and you're left with a design that's transferred onto the garment itself. The Ricoma R550 white toner transfer printer uses this very two-step heat transfer method to apply designs onto various light and dark color garments, even onto hard surfaces such as wood, aluminum, or even metal. If you're interested to learn more about white toner transfer printing and specifically about the Ricoma R550 white toner transfer printer packages, go ahead and click the link in the description below and check them out there. So now that we cover what is a two-step heat transfer printing system, let's cover what is sublimation printing. So sublimation printing involves a similar process where you're printing the design onto regular copy paper or specialty sublimation paper and then using heat via a heat press to transfer that printed design onto a substrate such as a piece of garment. The key difference lies in how sublimation works and the science behind it. During sublimation, when the actual printed design is heated via a heat press, the toner on the transfer paper itself actually turns from a solid state into a gas state and then it embeds itself into the fabric. When it cools, it actually goes back to being a solid and then becomes a permanent part of the fabric. That means unlike a two-step heat transfer printing method, sublimation actually adds no additional layer of paper on top of the fabric and you can't feel the difference of the printed image and the rest of the fabric. Okay, now that we've covered what these two methods actually are, let's go into some key differences and considerations between these two methods. The first topic that we're going to cover between these two methods is durability and feel. As I briefly mentioned before, sublimation does not add an extra layer on top of your fabric versus a two-step heat transfer printing method actually leaves a thin layer on top of your fabric. So the feel is going to be much different. So right off the bat, you will feel a difference between the printed design using these two methods. Now, in terms of durability, with a heat transfer printed design, it can last about 30 to 40 washes, depending on how large your design is and how it's actually being washed. Now, on the other hand, with sublimation, because the ink or the toner is actually infused inside the fabric and becomes a part of the fabric, it is a much more permanent design onto the fabric and it can withstand a lot more washes. In fact, most sublimated designs will last just as long as the actual fabric itself. Because you're not leaving an extra layer of transfer on top of the fabric, you're not going to see any cracking after washes and the image is much less likely to fade with sublimation. So in this category of durability and feel, it is pretty clear that sublimation wins out in this category because it can last a lot longer and you don't feel the actual transfer image on top of the garment. All right, the second item to consider between sublimation printing and heat transfer printing is the variety of substrates that you can transfer images onto. With sublimation printing, you are much more limited in the variety of substrates that you can transfer images onto. This is because sublimation can only adhere to polyester coated materials. Even if you use something that is 60% polyester and 40% cotton, which is really about the minimum amount of polyester that you need to, in order to make sublimation work, in that 60-40 poly cotton blend, you're not going to get as much vibrancy in your transfer design versus 100% polyester. 
With sublimation, you also have to use only white colored substrates or very light colored substrates. That means you can't use sublimation on a black t-shirt or a dark mug because the actual design won't show. On the other hand, with white toner heat transfer printing, you can actually print on light and dark colored garments and you're not limited to anything with polyester only. In fact, with heat transfer printing, you can heat transfer onto cotton, onto polyester, even ceramic and other hard surfaces like wood and metal. And therefore, in this category of variety of substrates you can transfer onto, heat transfer definitely wins out in this one because of the variety of things that you can do. Finally, let's go into the category of the quality of the colors you can print using these two methods. First off, sublimation allows you to print full colors. And this can be super helpful when trying to sublimate a photo, for example, or doing a particular job for a customer that requires a very specific color, such as one for a company logo. You can also achieve sharp, vibrant designs using heat transfer paper if you're printing your design using a white toner transfer system, such as the Ricoma R550. So it really is a virtual tie in this category between sublimation and heat transfer printing because you can achieve full color, vibrant designs with either method. The real difference lies in the durability and the feel of either method, also the variety of substrates that you can transfer onto. But fortunately, you can achieve the best of both worlds using a white toner transfer printing system, such as the one that we have here at Ricoma, the Ricoma R550. I kind of alluded to this briefly in the beginning of the episode in that you can achieve sublimation and heat transfer using heat transfer paper with the Ricoma R550. And that's because you can actually swap out one of the toner cartridges in the R550 with a specialty sublimation toner cartridge. So in conclusion guys, both printing methods involve a similar process but yield very different results. However, in sublimation printing, the ink or toner actually permeates throughout the fabric and becomes part of the fabric itself. In two-step heat transfer printing, on the other hand, the image simply becomes another layer on top of the substrate. Thankfully, the Ricoma R550 white toner transfer printing system can achieve either method simply by swapping out the toner cartridge. So make sure you keep these considerations in mind when deciding which method to use to fulfill the needs of your customers. At the end of the day, it really depends on what your customer is looking for, the type of material they're looking to get printed on, and that will drive your decision on what is best for your customers. Like I mentioned before, if you're looking to get started in the heat transfer printing business or you're looking to add on to your existing apparel decoration business, make sure to check out the Ricoma R550. I put that in the link below. You can check out what packages we have and what are the different things that come with those packages to get you started. Also, don't forget to join our free Facebook group, Embroidery and Custom Apparel Mastery, where there's now over 18,000 embroiderers and custom apparel decorators in there sharing their tips and their experience with transfer systems just like this. Finally, follow us on Instagram, at RicomaHQ. We post there daily so you can keep up to date with the latest trends of what's happening in the world of decorated apparel. All right, guys, I hope you found this information helpful. Leave a quick comment in the comment section below which method you're currently using and what you find interesting or what you're looking to get into. And let me know if you have any questions. I hope you guys enjoyed this content and hope to see you guys next time. <laughs>